All right, we're What's here. Like? Finally, Moy. Finally, to be able to come out to the water. To the water. Mm -hmm. We try that. Yeah, let's try. Let's go. Alright guys, today we're going to talk about a couple of the, the rods, reels that we usually bring to um, our fishing. And I'd like to start off with my very popular rod that everyone's been asking about. This is the Crappie Max ID Lights. It's actually a Bass Pro rod. Get a close look at it. It's an ultralight rod. Has a little green tip to it, and um, it's like a seven-foot rod. It's really good for crappie jig use, and very good. I think it costs around forty bucks. It is a bass rod. It is a bass rod. Oh, okay. It's a um, cherry wood. They don't make this anymore. It's a medium light action. I've caught plenty of bass off of it. It's a six and a half foot. Little nice, got nice bend to it. I use it a lot in the when fishing Newport Back Bay, throwing on little swim baits. All right, so me, I have I'm already on the screen. Huh? <laughs> uh, my spinning combo right here that I brought today is a Jupiter Daiwa Jupiter, six foot six, uh, medium heavy action for bass rods. Uh, I got a Daiwa. Um, what is it, a Spitfire, I believe? I think it's a Spitfire Daiwa with some Iser line. Or Andy's yeah, nice. line. No, Andy's. Is it Andy's? Andy's. Yes, it's Andy. Andy's yeah. line, six pound, Andy's yeah, line, mono. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty good rod. I like it a lot. Gets me a lot of fish. But well, this is my first rod about today. Daiwa. Jupiter. This one, uh, I think I already showed you guys this, but I'll show it to you again. This is my Tala with the Kalaris rod combo. It's a Shimano. This is a, um, a seven foot rod as well. I like using a little bit of a taller rod for the better cast. And I got this a long time ago. I don't think they make this rod anymore. Um, they probably have a different different kind of rod. I don't know, they have a different different one. This is a medium heavy. It's a more stiffer rod. It's better for the swim baits that you cast for the, the trout swim baits. These are really good for those, or the, uh, the huddle stints. These are really good. And I have a small bait casting reel. Um, if you watch my other videos, this, this reel actually comes out. It's really nice. I like this one. Um, easy to handle. You can put on uh, braid. I believe I like clean mono because it's more easy to handle. Braid, if you get it stuck, it's not too great. So this one I like to use for little swim baits. Got this at the Fred Hall show was it four years ago for 20 bucks I got this for 20 bucks and then I got this um, Okuma reel at Walmart on clearance for $20 too it's a one piece seven foot I caught some nice um, spot fin croaker with this some I think I caught my legal halibut with this mm -hmm. in the back bay but I use it mainly for like surf fishing but I'll take it in fresh water for throw to my swim baits Final rod. My final rod. Well, I only brought two today. Uh, I got an Abu Garcia Vendetta, medium, six foot six. I always like the six foot six. Personally, my favorite. And I have a Bass Pro Shop Pro Qualifier reel. Nothing crazy. Uh, Ten pound mono uh, uh, spider wire. I just like throwing this crankbait. Got a snag a couple times today. Nothing. <laughs> couple. <laughs> I, got a, I got a few rocks today. Nothing crazy either. But yeah, this is the second rod I brought. Pretty cool rod. I like it. Lightweight. 
And lastly, this is a rod I really don't use too often because it's <laughs> a lot shorter than the ones I have. And this, why you like to use it, especially today, is because if you're bass fishing, you get into like the brush, you could toss it right in front of you with like those plastics. I actually have a swim bait on me today, but you have those plastics, you can toss it right in front of you. You don't have to make those long casts. You can just toss it, you can pitch it right into those little bushes and then you just boom, catch right in there. So these are kind of like the rods you could adjust to like the situation. It'll be a lot easier for you. And I do have a, a it's a Abu Garcia. It's a Silver Max and this is something you could purchase like at Walmart for something easy like 50 bucks. And this is a, a Daiwa Triforce rod. It's only, this is only like five, six. Five, six is a medium, medium light. So you're not really aiming for long distance cast, something really short. So. A rod and tackle. Uh, if you like our video today, hit that like and subscribe button. And if you have any comments about what other stuff we should be introducing to you guys on Tackle, uh, put in the comment below. And we'll see you again on another episode of Recast. Fishing in SoCal. Yeah. See you guys next time. I'll be here next time, I think. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs>